The World at War is a 26-episode British television documentary series chronicling the events of the Second World War. It was at the time of its completion in 1973, at a cost of £900,000 equivalent to £10,700,000 in 2018, the most expensive factual series ever made. It was produced by Jeremy Isaacs, narrated by Laurence Olivier and included music composed by Carl Davis. The book, The World at War, published the same year, was written by Mark Arnold Forster to accompany the TV series. The World at War attracted widespread acclaim and is now regarded as a landmark in British television history. The producer Jeremy Isaacs was considered ahead of his time in resurrecting studies of military history. Among many other aspects, the series focused on a portrayal of the experience of the conflict, of how life and death throughout the war years affected soldiers, sailors and airmen, civilians, concentration camp inmates and other victims of the war. Topic. Overview The World at War was commissioned by Thames Television in 1969. It took four years to produce at a cost of £900,000 equivalent to £10,700,000 in 2018. At the time this was a record for a British television series. It was first shown in 1973 on ITV. The series featured interviews with major members of the Allied and Axis campaigns, including eyewitness accounts from civilians, enlisted men, officers and politicians. Among these were Sir Max Aitken, Mark Clark, Jock Colville, Carl Donitz, James Jimmy Doolittle, Lawrence Durrell, Lord Eden of Avon, Mitsuo Fuchida, Adolf Galland, Minoru Genda, W. Avril Harriman, Sir Arthur Harris, Alger Hiss, Brian Horrocks, Traudel Jungay, Toshikazu Case, Curtis LeMay, Hasso von Mantufel, Bill Malden, John J. McCloy, Lord Mountbatten of Burma, J. B. Priestley, Albert Speer, James Stewart, Charles Sweeney, Paul Tibbetts, Walter Wallamont, and historian Stephen Ambrose. In the program The Making of the World at War. Included in the DVD set, Jeremy Isaacs explains that priority was given to interviews with surviving aides and assistants rather than recognized figures. The most difficult person to locate and persuade to be interviewed was Heinrich Himmler's adjutant Karl Wolf. During the interview, he admitted to witnessing a large scale execution in Himmler's presence. Isaacs later expressed satisfaction with the content of the series, noting that if it had been unclassified knowledge at the time of production, he would have added references to British codebreaking efforts. In a list of the 100 greatest British television programmes compiled by the British Film Institute during 2000, voted for by industry professionals, The World at War ranked 19th. Broadcast history The series was originally transmitted on the ITV network in the United Kingdom between 31 October 1973 and 8 May 1974, and has subsequently been shown around the world. It was first shown in the US in syndication on various stations in 1974. WOR in New York aired the series in the mid-1970s, although episodes were edited both for graphic content and to include sufficient commercial breaks. PBS station WNET in New York broadcast the series unedited and in its entirety in 1982 as did WGBH in the late 1980s. The Danish channel DR1 first broadcast the series from August 1976 to February 1977 and it was repeated again on DR2 in December 2006 and January 2007. The History Channel in Japan began screening the series in its entirety in April 2007. It repeated the entire series again in August 2011. The Military History Channel in the UK broadcast the series over the weekend of 14 and 15 November 2009. The Military Channel, now American Heroes Channel in the United States aired the series in January 2010, and has shown it regularly since. BBC Two in the UK transmitted a repeat run of the series starting on 5 September 1994 at teatime. 
In 2011, the British channel Yesterday started a showing of the series and it has been shown continuously to this day at various times. The series was shown in full on SABC in South Africa in 1976, one of the first documentary series broadcast after the launch of the first television service in South Africa in January 1976. Each episode was 52 minutes excluding commercials, as was customary for ITV documentary series at the time, it was originally screened with only one central break. The genocide episode was screened uninterrupted. Topic. Episodes The series has 26 episodes. Producer Jeremy Isaacs asked Noble Franklin, then director of the Imperial War Museum, to list 15 main campaigns of the war and devoted one episode to each. The remaining 11 episodes are devoted to other matters, such as the rise of the Third Reich, home life in Britain and Germany, the experience of occupation in the Netherlands, and the Nazis' use of genocide. Episode 1 begins with a cold open describing the massacre at the French village of Orador sur glane by the Waffen-SS. The same event is referenced again at the end of episode 26, while the Dona Nobis Pacem Latin for Grant us peace from the Missa Sancti Nicolae, composed by Joseph Hayden, can be heard. The series ends with Laurence Olivier saying, Remember. <laughs> <laughs> Additional episodes Some footage and interviews which were not used in the original series were later made into additional hour or half-hour documentaries narrated by Eric Porter. These were released as a bonus to the VHS version and are included in the DVD set of the series, first released in 2001. The Making of the Series, The World at War Secretary to Hitler, Traudel Junge From War to Peace, Professor Stephen Ambrose Warrior, Reflections of Men at War Hitler's Germany, the People's Community, 1933 to 1939. Hitler's Germany, Total War, 1939 to 1945. The two deaths of Adolf Hitler. The final solution, part 1. The final solution, part 2. Making of the series, a 30th anniversary retrospective. Experiences of war. Restoring the world at war. Topic: <laughs> Books. The original book The World at War, which accompanied the series, was written by Mark Arnold Forster in 1973. In October 2007 Ebury Press published The World at War, a new book by Richard Holmes, an oral history of the Second World War drawn from the interviews conducted for the TV series. The program's producers committed hundreds of interview hours to film in its creation, but only a fraction of that recorded material was used for the final version of the series. A selection of the rest of this material was published in this book, which included interviews with Albert Speer, Karl Wolf, Himmler's adjutant, Traudel Junge, Hitler's secretary, James Stewart, USAAF bomber pilot and Hollywood star, Anthony Eden, John Colville, private secretary to Winston Churchill, Avril Harriman, US ambassador to the Soviet Union, and Arthur Bomber Harris, head of RAF Bomber Command. Topic Home Media History The series was released in various territories on VHS video as well as on 13 LaserVision long play video discs by Video Garant Amsterdam. In 2001 to 2005, DVD box sets were released in the US and UK. In 2010, the series was digitally restored and re-released on DVD and Blu-ray. In the latter case the image is cropped from its original 1.33, 1 aspect ratio down to 1.78, 1, to better fit modern widescreen televisions. 
The restored series was re-released on DVD and Blu-ray in its original aspect ratio in the United Kingdom on the 31st of October 2016. From 2004-2005, A&E Home Entertainment, under license from Thames, Talkback Thames, and Fremantle Media International, released all 26 episodes of this classic 70s international cult Brit hit TV series on Region One DVD, uncut, unedited, and remastered. It is now currently out of print. Topic. See also Apocalypse, The Second World War 2009, an RTBF documentary on the Second World War All Our Yesterdays, a Granada TV series that may be considered a precursor to the world at war. The Great War 1964 BBC TV production World War I 1964 CBS production BBC History of World War II 1989 to 2005 The Secret War 1977 a BBC TV series on the technological advances of the Second World War the Unknown War 1978, an American documentary television series, produced with Soviet cooperation after the release of The World at War, which the Soviet government felt paid insufficient attention to their part in World War II Remilitarization of the Rhineland 1936.